What's up and welcome back to another Kind of Funny Games live reaction to a video game showcase. Today, we're reacting to the D23 Disney and Marvel Games Showcase hosted by Blessing Adeoye Jr. Super proud of him. Can't wait to see him absolutely kill it. Of course, I'm Tim Geddes and I'm joined by the big daddy himself, Greg Miller. Hello, Tim. The master of hype, Snowbike Mike. Hello, Tim. And the nitro rifle, Andy Cortez. Hello, Tim. Hello. Hello. To all of you indeed uh how y'all feeling about this one very excited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. excited to see blessing honestly yeah. i hope he does like a i hope he like does a cartwheel on stage or something neat oh. you know wow. really tap make a name leg. for himself we should have told him to tap his leg ah, we messed damn. up he should know that though, right he should he should at this point just tap it if you if you even if you're doing something you know tell us about it. it's not in the video game world i don't care just go there Tap a tap away. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim, I'm incredibly excited about this. It's kind of one of those, I I, I was excited for Bless, obviously. And then uh, as we got closer, like, all right, video games or whatever. And then, of course, the rumors of Amy's game, Captain America, Black Panther, World War II, talks of Iron Man, reminders of Black Panther's own standalone game. I'm ready. Let's go. And then let alone Star Wars and stuff like that. Ton of potential, man. You know, yeah. Kingdom Hearts could be there. Nobody cares about that. Me and Stella oh, already talked sure. about that. Nobody cares. Nobody. That. Nobody cares about Kingdom Hearts 4. No. Um, but yeah, Star Wars, Marvel, Kingdom Hearts, tons of uh, tons of possibilities. Andy, what's the one thing that you want the most? Wolverine. Ooh, Ooh good one. Good pick, Andy. Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> Snowbike Mike, what do you think? That's good call. Uh Spider-Man 2. You know what I mean? Spidey. Nice. You know, where do we fall on that? Can we show that here? Is that Sony thing? So I'm excited to see. Maybe the Doctor Strange game that I'm uh, hundred percent confirming right now. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That's big of you. That's big uh, of you. And maybe. if I'm wrong, hey, you know, hey, sue me. Hey. <laughs> you heard it here first. Did we get Insomniac stuff? Yes. Really? I hope so. I think they'd want to be a part of this. I think PlayStation would want to be a part of this. Wow. I'm, I'm Don't a little you? less. It's huge. I, I mean, I, yeah, but like, I just feel like with PlayStation, with their showcase, the fact they haven't had a showcase in a while, like, you'd feel like they're waiting for that, but I hope it's here. I hope we're all disappointed. I'm just That's stretching my thing. hamstrings right now. And don't pull a hammy, Andy. All right, here we go. Show baby. me blessing, everybody. Yeah. No oh, Avatar. Okay, yeah, yeah. We don't need Avatar. I hope they come out and say it's canceled. Oh, yeah, Monkey Island's Lucasfilm. Remember, Marvel Snap, baby. The force will be with you, always. Tim, well, I like Snap. You're gonna love Snap, Greg. Yeah. You're gonna okay. love that okay. game. Now, Tim, real quick, before you shut up, Mike was concerned that we were gonna throw him off this stream, so if you want to, just do that at any time. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> that intro song that played, hey, can we just name that genre Video game showcase genre music. <laughs> Love it. Give me a good give me a good Spotify playlist of the video game genre music. Yeah. Founded by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> oh man, we're going right into <laughs> world premiere here, guys. World premiere, baby. World premiere. Tron. It's fallen order, I imagine, right? Yeah, that's what I would get to. I would think too. Or Jedi Survivor. Oh no! Oh, whoa! Oh, hello. This is Tron. The bro. Mike yeah. Biffle? Holy shit. This, this is Tron. Yeah, man. What's up? Wow. Cool. Oh, upload. Yo, what's up? Tron Identity. Hey. What a way to start the show. Welcome to the first ever Disney and Marvel Games Showcase. I'm your host, Blessing Adeoye Jr. And today I'll be your NPC guide as you quest through game announcements from we Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and 20th Century. Now, if you want to keep up to date with Bithel Games' first adventure in the expanded Tron universe, and their upcoming collaborations with Disney games, be sure to follow their socials. In fact, you should probably drop a follow on all the Disney games. They have to zoom out the camera really, really far because he's premieres. so tall. Like this so one tall, right so here. buff. He looks incredible. Shout out yeah. to Bless. He looks amazing. World premiere. Looking great, kid. And the switch. 
This was the team that made Battletoads, right? Is that what the same studio was that? Mm. Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy. We bid you welcome to the world of Monoth. Hmm. Tell us what you need, Toku. Our entire world is in danger. You must travel to the three okay. biomes of Monoth and retrieve. I'm in, y'all. Take it online multiplayer. Game, we're in. Yeah, yeah. Love the art style. Sorry, yeah. We should help them. Yeah, this is the um art style of the show that everybody loves, loves right? Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. And the Papa. new we'll ride at Disneyland. On. The books are gone. <laughs> It's okay. We'll explain. TBD! TBD! Okay. <laughs> Wait, are those placeholder words or the actual words? Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. That I like awesome. that a lot. I got dibs on Goofy, y'all. Disney Illusion Island may be used <laughs> exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system, and whether you're looking to run solo or couch co-op with up to three friends as the Fab Four, you can put it on your wish list today. Now, if you've been wishing for more info on Marvel's Midnight Sun, Woo! you know I have. You. In this RPG from the Tactical He's got you, Greg. Games, you play as the Hunter, the first customizable original hero in a Marvel game. Lead Blade, he's killing it. Magic, yeah, he Ghost Rider, he's doing fantastic. Minoru, and more in a fight against Lilith, Mother of Demons, plus the Elder God, Kathan, with revolutionary card-based tactics featured in this all-new gameplay trailer. Now, Snowbike Mike, you don't like games unless they're instantly rewarding and super action. So, are you gonna play this? What's your what's your vibe? So with fun it? is that what you're Big, I'm a I'm a big. <laughs> thank you, Andy. Uh, I'm a big XCOM fan. I do not like card games and the card system, so I sure. don't know where I'm gonna fall on this one. You had okay. me at XCOM, lost me at the card based. What about you? Because you you're the one who's been talking this up. Are you still into this? I'm interested in this. Talking okay. it up, I think, is a bridge too far because it does okay, give off okay. like X-Men Destiny vibes a bit, and I'm terrified mm -hmm. of that. But I do love the idea of being a new character and going a new world. I don't know if I'll like the card combat stuff. But look mm -hmm. how cool that Captain looks. I think he's Captain America. <laughs> oh my god, that cat. <laughs> December, that's a new date, isn't it? I remember it got delayed, but did we know you the new what the trailer the said? Yeah, I think it was Marvel's indefinitely Midnight at first. Marvel's Midnight Suns is coming out Kay. this year on December 2nd for Windows PC, PlayStation 5, Just in time for Game and of the Xbox year. Series X and S. And <laughs> it's available to pre-order today. But that's not all. Right now, we have a sneak peek of the intro for the set of new prequel shorts that gives a never-before-seen preview I love of the a heroes short. they will be playing as. Oh. Oh, same day as Cluster Protocol? Yeah. Or, or right around Cluster Protocol. Now, okay. Mike, uh, Wolverine's a mutant. Okay. Blade's a vampire, but he can go out in the daytime. Yeah, is... Ghost Rider rides motorcycles. Okay. Oh, I... okay. <laughs> I, th I thought you this? were going to like make an overall point. <laughs> yeah, where are we going? I'm just helping Mike. I'm just helping Mike. I'm just helping Mike. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mike's screen went down, so Greg's explaining everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this music with the remix. I like this. I like the art style. I'm all about this. Yeah, this <laughs> Ooh, is pretty dope Spidey so far. Spidey dope in that color concept. Andy, I got good news. If you'd like to play video games as Spider-Man, Marvel's Avengers on PlayStation has them for free right now. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is in that one. Greg, do you remember when we were playing on the Switch and we were playing Marvel's Ultimate Alliance and how much fun that was? How can I Woo! forget? Me and Barrett went to the bar and played. It was amazing. Time that was. Yeah, that looks no, like it's going to be great. dope. Be sure to follow at Marvel Games and the Midnight Sun social channels for more information. And now, here's some exciting news about a Marvel game you can play today. Oh, Spider-Man 2. Fuck. You 
Uh-oh. See, everybody, this is the Hulk that we prefer to have in the MCU. <laughs> he's a, he's a neutered MCU Hulk. The Hulk has just been put on the bench and Why are you talking like the therapist, woman? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now okay. listen. I know you came here for the trailers and DLC announcements and big reveals, and not me, but I'm cool with that because I want to see what's next too. So let's get to it. Oh, hi there. Let's you look go. like someone who's ready to join me on a wild ride to the multiverse. Was that you? Oh, we're making a card card game right here. You've been playing a lot of assumptions Welcome about me, lady. Snap. Oh, I've been playing the beta of this. I've played anywhere. every your single house, day. Your workplace, I am in love with it. Really? Let's be honest. Love, most like love really? Right? Yeah. Is this a oh, it's Aqu- it's Aquafine, isn't it? Honestly, oh, it, is it's Aquafine. Aquafine. it will be on my list. Yeah, that's wow. actually easier. I don't think I've ever won a game of Solitaire. We talking like Hearthstone levels of fun, Tim? It, it, it's from yeah. the creators of Hearthstone. Like oh, I love Hearthstone. So it's a simplified Hearthstone power. that's Marvel. It's like okay. every game lasts less than three minutes. It's perfect. Ooh. Maybe you, like me, would are you love challenged? To see or are you just like kick Thanos' yeah. evil purple oh. butt? Or you've always wondered what the Guardians of the Galaxy would look like in 8-bit mode. Well, Hate wonder that. no more. Got him. It's easy to pick up and so much fun to master. In other words, less time than a bagel takes to toast. Who doesn't have a bagel? G Ham Play says, "Is pay to win?" So don't and I'm not sure if he's asking a question a or insulting oh, you, but okay. let's just go with the question. Is it pay to win? Question. Yeah. It's Marvel's not pay to win, but it is. It's there is some modification stuff that I was like, uh, I'm not, I don't like this. Pre-register now at okay. Marvel Snap. But there's, I haven't paid a single penny, yeah, and it's been awesome. That. Oh, Don't damn it. Wait, what was the date? To download Marvel October 18th. Snap on your yeah. Android and iOS devices on October 18th. And yeah. be sure to stick around here for more Marvel reveals later in the showcase. But first, next year, gamers are getting dropped into Aliens. the middle of a Xenomorph Ooh. outbreak in the tactical squad based action of Aliens Dark Descent. In this look at gameplay, take your squad of Marines on missions no. as you infiltrate no. and investigate the Xenomorph outbreak. Develop your tactics, assemble your colonial marines. And really take weird to see aliens in a aliens Disney thing. Next year, <laughs> <laughs> kind of forget the IP the world we live in. But first, yep. let's talk about Avatar and revisit Pandora. In Avatar, Avatar Frontiers, Frontiers of Pandora, you'll be immersed in the beauty and danger of the alien moon and experience a living and reactive world firsthand as a Navi. You'll explore new environments and interact with all new Navi? creatures, plants, and Not characters me. in the never before uh-huh. Western Got Frontier. him, Greg! Fighting against the you. RDA in a brand new standalone story for PC and next-gen consoles. Now from Pandora to a galaxy far, far away. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga destroyed sales records like Rebels taking out Death Stars. If you haven't picked it up yet, or you've already blown up all the Death Stars too, here's another reason to jump into The Skywalker Saga. New characters including Cassian Andor, Reva, Captain Rex, and more are coming to LEGO Star Wars I love Skywalker Yabba. Saga soon. Take on even more Stormtroopers, lead a lightsaber, or the Force, party your way through the galaxy, and get ready to expand your character collection. The Galactic Edition comes out this holiday season with 13 <laughs> character packs, including six all new ones, adding some of your favorite characters. Remember in Jurassic Park, that trailer now, where we thought the dinosaur was know, making that noise for a second? Is known for more than just Star Wars <laughs> the voice of Guybrush Threepwood, Dominic Armato, is here to share a look at the upcoming Return to Monkey Island. Hello, fellow pirates. My name is Dominic Armato, the voice of Guybrush Threepwood. Don't be fooled by the name. The Monkey Island Adventure Series is about pirates, not monkeys. It's been a part of the Lucasfilm family of games for more than 30 years, beginning in 1990 with The Secret of Monkey Island. I want to be a pirate. Through the years, each game has been carefully crafted to feature the humor, clever puzzles, and sense of adventure that made Monkey Island such an iconic video game series. Plus, we've got some outstanding voice acting. A wonderful new music score See? and a gorgeous illustrated art style. Giving himself some props. We've also put together an in-game scrapbook so in which Guybrush Streepwood details his adventures and important moments from previous games. It's a great way to get caught up on what's happened so far. Or a fun refresher if you already know the whole story. We can't wait for you to discover the secrets hidden in Return to Monkey Island. 
play it on Nintendo Switch or PC on September 19th. You can strap on an eye patch and celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day on September 19th by picking up Return to Monkey Island. Lucasfilm Games isn't the only team bringing the nostalgia vibes today. Over the last few years, Disney Games has revived classics like Aladdin, The Jungle Book, and The Lion King. And now they're teaming up with Empty Clip to bring back another classic, Gargoyles Remastered. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gargoyles, bro. Like cool. That's badass. <gasps> yep, that's the scream. And while oh you'll have God, to wait to climb back into the world of Gargoyles Remastered, you can grab your phone and start unlocking heroes in this Disney and Pixar action RPG right now. First look. It's Kevin. Mirrorverse. Oh, Mirrorverse, yeah. Those are for heroes. You still playing this one, Tim? No, I fell off of it. it got just a little too. Sure, not here. Last I heard, Joey was still tinkering. Still love the designs though. Like anytime love. I follow him on Twitter, still and like I love seeing all the ample triangle looks. Done and doesn't care who they have to push aside. Even if it means forging devious alliances. To fulfill this it's perfect for spooky time. After all, there is strength in numbers, especially when that number is number one. Six, six, six. Jaffa. Joey in the chat says, still playing a little bit. I actually went back to Disney Emoji Blitz as my go-to mobile game. I think she has been playing Disney the hell out of that recently. Leveling up your teams like now if you're hoping to take on hades and the other villains dropping this october all right let's get into our next reveal oh damn storm disney car racer Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I want Mickey to drop like a bucket of nails oh. and stuff to sure. make somebody get a flat tire. <laughs> Remember the Luigi death stare in Mario oh, Kart? Yeah. <laughs> Who could forget? I, I, I'm con so the Me way too. it looks like the so is the game out already? No, it said coming soon. No, it, it said, said and coming, coming soon. soon. Oh, yeah, the monster thing appeared. Blessing will tell us when we come back. <laughs> it's waiting on you, Bless. Okay, the coming, game soon. Is coming soon. Coming soon. Coming <laughs> soon. Okay. Hey, there you go. Yeah, okay. So they're letting you know that like, hey, Monsters Inc. World will I not drop how immediately. Screen Mike Wazowski's pulling. I guess we'll all find out together when Disney Speedstorm Oh my God, Mike Wazowski looks console. awful. And now let's take a stroll through an idyllic <laughs> Disney Terrible. He looked, like, he looked like a fucking, what are the floating heads in Doom? Demons. <laughs> I Cock played this demon. yesterday, had a good time. If you want to hear more about it, you should go listen to the Kind of Funny Games cast where Joey Noel pops up to give her impressions after playing 30 hours of it. Oof. 
can't believe Joey decided to not go to the Wally world. Awful pace in the Pixar movies at Joey. Do you see that Wally was added to the Criterion collection? First Pixar movie to ever get it. it deserves it. <laughs> As I did go. My guess today was regretting not going threat. with the rock though. Yeah, I should I shouldn't have gone with Remy the Rat. I should yeah. have gone with the Rock. Stupid ass rat. But I had a You have Jungle Cruise Rock in this? Moana. Oh, Maui. Yeah. What can I say? Except I knew he would do you it. welcome. <laughs> You're incredible. I'm a sound alike. Disney Dream vs. Lighthouse Valley. Why don't you put me in it? You know? I, don't I feel think like Chris voice acting. I feel like Chris Anka gets like push notifications whenever I talk shit about Ratatouille. In Disney Dreamlight Valley, right now. Good news, you can with Xbox Game Pass or by grabbing the Founders Pack on your PC or just about every console you own. Now, for those who are looking for an action-packed MMORPG shooter that you can play in the palm of your hand, look no further than Avatar: Reckoning. Soon, you'll be able to battle for the future of Pandora on your phone. But for now, we've got Jared Yeager, an executive producer at Walt Disney Games, I will here not. to tell you more. Wow. Hey, everyone. Close my eyes. I'm to this a is. sneak peek at the upcoming Avatar Reckoning. In this MMORPG shooter, you'll return to the moon of Pandora to find your own way in the aftermath of the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains. As you begin your adventure, Who you'll customize your own Avatar warrior. <laughs> you'll also be able to collect and customize a range of weapons to prepare you for your journey. As you set out across single-player missions, you'll discover new regions as you unravel a mysterious story, encountering new clans and defending yourself from the perils of Pandora, from creatures to the RDA forces. You'll also be able to play both with and against others in online multiplayer. Team up in instances to battle with other players trying to survive against powerful enemies, or battle in player versus player mode, where you'll team up against other players across a variety of maps. You'll be able to experience all of this and more when it's Avatar weird how little they showed a mobile device soon. Other Avatar game. It's because they got nothing to show. They're just yeah. reminding you it exists. You think it's up, or is it just Ubisoft tomorrow? We'll find out. I just feel like they totally got the message of Avatar wrong <laughs> with what we just saw. <laughs> oh, hold on. Shh, shh. Oh, cat music. There oh, we go. Let's Fuck go, go Amy. Ah! Don't know where. Don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. I never freeze. Keep smiling through, just like you always do. Amy Tear heading games and pans of diaries, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Take on the role of the Third Reich. Like, no, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's oh. it. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck yeah. Bro. Four heroes, two worlds, one more. Oh. Oh, let's freaking go. I know you're probably <laughs> hopping onto Reddit to break down all those Easter eggs, but I recommend you don't tab away just yet because there's another world premiere from Marvel Games coming your way right now. Oh. Huh. Take Hold it on to the second. streets, everybody. World premiere. That was a request for chat. Huh. Go get into actual fights with people in the streets. The first ever Disney <laughs> Marvel game showcase. Oh, we yeah, will tell you where crimes did. are happening. I mean, you and your friends will run and stop <laughs> them. Us. It's been our pleasure to serve you. Hey, so F me. Oh, you stole that. Hey, wait a second. No, you say Man, game yes. daily, all right? That's what you say, bless. <laughs> Hell yeah, bless. <laughs> so, Mike, here's what I want you to do, all right? 
Lay it on me, big dog. Bust out the Wikipedia of huh. MCU characters, all right? Okay, okay. And then we're gonna go through and do a deal with the devil. And I'll tell you if I would give up that character if it would erase Avatar, if just Avatar didn't exist. Oh, wow. Okay, you got a deal. Give me one thing. I will erase right the IP and you know, Satan, if you're listening, I, we can put a like, couple of them on the scale. You know what I mean? We can do a whole like trade here. I feel here. like Satan's done a lot for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best friend. <laughs> He's a He's booster. The He's a bro. He gets the know? job done. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I really wanted to see Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. People have been playing the Avatar shooter game and players aren't happy about it. Yeah, I knew he was going to go for it. That's me I doing the TikTok game. That. You're the TikTok jabroni. <laughs> the TikTok God. gamer. <laughs> uh, there you go. That was the Disney Marvel Games Showcase situation. Um, I think that we're going to take a real quick word from our sponsors if that's a possibility barrett or in a cut right yeah. so this is his own thing and then do the game i was thinking thing. we just put this and then well don't we get into no. trouble then if it turns out then we can't actually post that first part then it'll hell break i don't soon, know right? I, I don't know that we have a whole games cast to talk uh, let's about just do this. one thing then but fine just do one thing it. This episode is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like checking in your baggage at the airport without a lock. You don't know who's looking through all your stuff, finding all of your Nintendo Switches, your PlayStation Vitas, or all the other things that you're hiding in there. When you go online without a VPN, internet service providers, ISPs, can see every single website you visit. They can legally sell this information without your consent. Nobody wants that. That sounds like a bad time for everybody. You can browse more anonymous it's easy to use and it works on all devices. I love ExpressVPN. It is super simple to use. I feel safe across all of my devices, knowing that whether I'm on my desktop or my mobile phone, people aren't getting in there. I'm safe on the internet and what I look at, what I browse, that's mine. That's for me to know. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash kind of funny today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash kind of funny. And you can get an extra three months free. Expressvpn.com slash kind of funny funny next up shout out to chime like a cool breeze chime is a refreshing way to handle your money there's no monthly fees no maintenance fees and no minimum balance fees so it's how banking should be done and when you need access to your money you can do so fee free at more than 60,000 in network atms at many locations like most walgreens or 7-elevens you can also send money to anyone even if they aren't on chime fee free for you and no cash out fees for them chime no monthly fees no vibe killing fees sign up for a chime checking account it only takes two minutes and it doesn't affect your credit score you can get started at chime.com slash kf games that's chime.com slash kf games chime is a financial technology company not a bank banking services provided by a debit card issued by the Bancorp bank or stride bank and a members fdic out of network atm withdrawal fees apply except at money pass atm in a 7-eleven location and at all owl point or visa plus alliance ATM. Other fees such as third party and cash deposit fees may apply. Chime.com slash KF Games. Welcome back. This is the part where we give our thoughts on what we just saw. Greg Miller, let's start with you. What'd you think of this showcase? Blessing Addy Oye Jr. What a gem, ladies and gentlemen. Killed it out there. Um, I appreciate I think it was a little light. It was light on content in terms of big new announcements, you know, whatever, stuff like that or whatever. Uh, but I think it had what we always want, which is a good pace. Uh, like let's go through let's show you the thing you don't care about that blah 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 you know i learned about marvel snap with you uh tim since you've played about it uh you know biffle and tron identity that's neat i'm not a tron guy but i like mike biffle a lot uh and so you look back at this thing and yeah it's like okay not much for me here didn't live up to you know the waking up oh i'm captain america black panther of course no no shade no shade i'm excited about that but we were in and we were out and I won't remember or talk about it much. You know what I mean? I, I like the Black Panther stuff. I'm excited to see more about that game or whatever. But outside of that, okay. And it's also, it was, it, not only, I think there's interesting games here, but it was light on a lot of details. Like what is the, you know, uh, Captain America Black Panther game? What exactly is Marvel World of Heroes? I obviously can piece it together. Niantic, I'm out there with my phones and superpowers, but I would like to have seen more from that. I've done more with that. And then of course, yeah, no, you know, 
no Iron Man from EA, no Black Panther from EA, no Spider-Man 2 from Insom, no Wolverine from Insom. Like, the list goes on like that. And, you know, that is to be expected. Sure, maybe not. Who knows? But it was, I had a fun time. It's all of us hanging out. Again, I think the pacing was good. I think Blessing's performance was good. And I think the games they have in there, there's interesting ones in there. But I'm not blown away by any stretch of the imagination. Still, Mike, Mike. That was a fine presentation, right? Blessing, you crushed it. So shout out to you, Bless. But when I think about what I was thinking for the first ever Disney and Marvel game showcase, this is actually pretty in line with what I thought we were going to see, which is a fair amount of mobile games that's going to speak to a certain audience. Maybe doesn't speak to me, right? Maybe there's one game that catches my eye, right? Delala Studios. I'm looking at Tim. What is the title of that game that we all liked? Uh, Illusion Islands. Illusion Island definitely caught my eye. <laughs> of course, you can see that art style. Uh, very similar to Battletoads of what we played over on the Xbox side. Again, no online uh, multiplayer. It sounded like it was just single player couch co-op, which is a little bit of a letdown. But uh, the art style and gameplay will be super fun. Other than that, like Greg said, right? A lot of CGI trailers there and leads a lot to like, what are we looking for, right? Because is this Captain America and Black Panther game going to be a four person, maybe Batman Arkham uh, Knights type style video game? That's my worry. I'd much rather have a single player game in that world with Amy and the team, but we'll find out more, I guess, once we see gameplay. Andy Cortez. Yeah, pretty underwhelming. Blessing was awesome, of course. Um, I did appreciate how fast it was and how quick it was. We were in and out. For sure. We didn't linger too long on stuff that wasn't uh, as interesting as we would have uh, liked, but I... You know, I I am kind of bummed out that that is the concept of what this Captain America and Black Panther game is. I think, like, after hearing the rumors, I was I, I was just hoping that we'd get single-player stuff like we'd always hope. But it looks to be more like a co-op sort of adventure. And, you know, m maybe it is still going to be really single-player focus and you don't need a squad of four. But it does seem like that's kind of what they're leaning towards. <laughs> uh, but still interesting nonetheless. Um, I, I just, who cares about Avatar? Like, I... It, Thank you. You know, I would have loved to have maybe gotten a bit more from the Ubisoft game. And I think that game would have interested me more. But I think it was just that that mobile presentation for that Avatar game is like kind of laughably stupid. And it feels like a fake game that is shown off to kind of parody the um, the sort of uh, capitalistic nature of just kind of like making everything into a shooter. Like it just same game, seemed, different skin. So stupid. Yeah. I thought, I thought that was really, really dumb. Um, and uh, yeah, aside from that, I don't remember a whole lot else. Like, I think it's really dope that Bithel's making a Tron game. We Would know, you like Bithel's, to hear the blurb about that? Of course. Yeah. Bithel's very super creative, obviously in everything he does. So yeah, hit, hit me with it, Greg. Tron identity. Uh, this is from steam. Something has been taken. Enter a new grid and forge alliances via visual novel gameplay, uncovering truth, truths through identity disc puzzles. Make critical discussion, discuss, decisions and plot your own course in disc a world decisions? without a creator. Mm. Andy. Uh, right here for you, Ah, They're always there for me. Interesting. Not what yeah. I expected from that. But I that mean, could be cool. It's kind of right along the line of what I expected. I think uh, Pithel loves sort of exploring games in this genre and just having really cool uh, character conversations and paths and talking, you know, making whatever uh, character and conversation choices there can be. Uh, so that's really interesting just because I'm stoked to see what he can do with that world. Aside from that, yeah, pretty underwhelming. Uh, Would have loved to have seen anything from Insomniac. Even just like the slightest bit of update or news or anything like that would have been dope. But aside from that, pretty underwhelming. Blessing, you killed it. You should host everything. Yeah, Bless was great. I think uh, I'm in line with you guys in terms of the pacing. I think ending on the Neantic thing was a bad call. Like I think the cap thing should have been the the final, like, the last moment. Like the Neantic stuff is kind of like a, oh, okay. Like that's cool. I get the Pokemon Go uh, aspect of it all, but it's like that doesn't seem like a show closer to me. Um, I think that not getting a title, not like the lack of details we got in the cap thing was a little weird. I'm sure it's really early, but still, like, kind of just like just give us a, a name so we can talk about it. And yeah, it's weird it they didn't give it thing. a name, right? That's yeah. that's very fascinating. I'm right there with Maybe you guys. Maybe it is where... called Four Heroes, Two Something, One War. <laughs> one Cup. Uh, grandma, uh, Grandma, for Christmas, can I have Four Heroes, Two Worlds, and One War <laughs> on one platform? Yeah, you know, obviously I'm a huge Marvel guy. Love Marvel games. Love all that. I 
that game felt like it was actively trying to make me not interested in it, not into the World War II stuff, not into the potential multiplayer stuff. So w- jury's out. Not what I was hoping for from an Amy Hennig Greg Skydance prediction. Marvel game. Greg Miller's prediction is it is not multiplayer. It is just you were jumping wow. around the four different perspectives of this soldier, uh, Black Panther, Captain America, and the Wakanda warrior. Yeah. Like, I'm going to take a Could pizza cool. bet with you just because like I do want it to be single player, but I, I, I bet you that, my friend, we're shaking on it. That's going to be a co-op experience for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. That's the new. Well, wave. there's two worlds. We can't exist. I can't be in Paris, and you can't be in Wakanda. So don't worry. About it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm interested in what this means for the that rumored uh, Black Panther game. Is this that, or is this a uh, separate thing? Rumor um, would be no, right? Because it was EA supposed to be working on an open world uh, Black Panther game. So you would think that no, this isn't that. Yeah. So interesting. Um, I will say I really liked the presentation of all this. I appreciate the the polish of the production and that they yeah. got in and out. No games was shown too long. I think that they at least had some news about every single thing, even if some of it wasn't like the most tantalizing, exciting thing, like getting the Disney mirror verse, like, cool, there's more characters, Skywalker saga, cool, there's more characters. But at least there was news. At least there was something. It wasn't just like, hey, reminder, this game exists. It was like, reminder, the game exists. And there's actually some new content. I'm really impressed with just the breadth of games that they actually have and sure most of them are mobile games but most of them are good mobile games like i'm i think that they've done a good job um with their ip so far and being able to be at a point now that they can even do a showcase and have like 20 games that they talked about in what felt like 12 minutes like that really just flew by um is impressive having said that it's like okay cool if you're going to show us all those things and show them well there's still mobile games we're still not ever going to be the audience that is like losing their minds over that type of stuff. You need to give us a bit more of what we expect. And I am utterly shocked that we didn't get more from the Avatar game. I know that we have Ubisoft Forward tomorrow. That might be uh, what's happening there. Uh, but more than that, where was Jedi Survivor? How yeah. was that not shown here? That is like such a, I thought, a slam dunk guarantee. Yeah, easy. That was going to be there, right? Yeah. Um, so not getting that, I think, is a little bit weird. Some of the new game announcements are, are super cool and fun. I don't want to write this off because as a bad showcase, because like, yeah, uh, Illusion Island, awesome. A new platformer Disney Mickey game. Like, we haven't got one of those in forever. Um, a new the Tron Bithel game. Like, that stuff's cool. We didn't know about it. So those things are cool, but no Kingdom Hearts. No Spider-Man, no Wolverine, not the big dogs, not the things that we're like, oh, man, we're waiting for that. And I'm not like upset that they're not here because I don't think any of us expected them to be there. But I think the showcase they had, if they also had those, it would have been a banger. But without them, it's kind of like, a, OK, OK, like I'm not mad that I watched this, but I'm, I'm hoping one all. day they can get to a point that they have all this stuff like the gargoyles remastered and things like that, like fun little announcements that are like, oh, that's cool. Like I'm stoked for that, but I'm not like showcase stoked for that. Right. Um, But we'll see. I agree with you. And I think that's a great way to put it. Right. Is that like, I don't think it was a bad showcase either. Right. I think it's a three. It's okay. Three out of five on the kind of funny scale. Like I put it right there. And I think it's again, to your point, like, since nothing overstayed its welcome, since it was, I think, well presented and not even like, you know, how great blessing is because we all love them. But since it was fast paced, it was well presented. It was it looked good, like the entire thing. I don't regret watching this at all. OK, here's a bunch of games. And, but this is like one of those ones we always talk about where it's like when people are like, ah, why are you excited for the game awards? It's just commercials like this is just commercials. This is just a bunch of trailers, but it was a bunch of trailers stitched together well. And some of them were interesting and I'm interested in more of them. Uh, <clears throat> Joey Noel has showed or shared uh, Jeff Keeley's tweet, but we will credit Joey Noel then with this description for the Captain America game. All right. <clears throat> Marvel Skydance New Media Project. Skydance New Media and Marvel's Marvel Entertainment's upcoming narrative driven ensemble adventure game is set in the Marvel Universe and features an original story that will take players on a World War II era adventure with four playable heroes at different points in the story. A young Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America. Uh, Azuri, T'Challa's grandfather, and the World War II era Black Panther. Gabriel Jones, a U.S. soldier and member of the Howling Commandos. And Nanali, a leader of the fledgling Wakanda and spy network. Scott Ants Media is helmed by the award-winning writer and director Amy Hennig. This title marks her the first initiative from the new AAA game studio. Now, Mike, are you ready to send me the pizza, or do you want to actually play the game and make? I mean, it sounds pretty clear here. Yeah, you think that's a, does it sound pretty clear, Greg? I'm, I'm Four playable down heroes home. at I'm different points of the story. <laughs> different points of the story. See, I think we wouldn't say that if it was at the same point when we were on the same thing, Mike. So, ladies and gentlemen, take it to the bank. 
It's a heavy Milner. Take it to the bank. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. Andy, what do you think about that little blurb? Um, I, I don't know. I kind of zoned out, honestly. It was mm. Just kind of whatever. Because of my I, presentation I or because of the game content? <laughs> a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Oh, okay. um, fair enough. I, I don't know. I would like to have just see. I don't know. This isn't the reveal that I, I wanted out of a game that should kind of have you know, a lot of hype behind it, right? Like, this is uh, a Hennig game that I, you know, I feel like we, I feel like her last 17 projects have been canceled, and I'm just really stoked to kind of, like, finally, like, all right, let's see what, let's see what uh, Amy Hennig can do with this property. Um, but I don't know. I, the, the multiple player aspect, the multiple sort of going through different vignettes similar to like battlefield one or something like that i i hope it's not like that i hope i hope we do get a lot more dedicated time in between everybody i would have loved for it just to have been you play as cap and these other people around you um i i that that would have been my number one hope you know in the chat right you have uh unkl jack who says uh so why the hell do i want to play as normal people in a game where i can also play as cap and black panther you know, that's going to be a, it, it's a tall order. And I think Amy's up to in terms of telling a compelling story and making us care about these two humanoids. But we will have to see how they do it and what they do with that. Yeah. Yeah. Jedi Survivor, though. What's up? Nobody cares. I'm kidding. Everybody cares. Ooh, we all care. I, I mean, don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why you want to get more, even just a, like a double dip on the trailer, which I know wouldn't be super exciting, but they showed clips of it in the intro and outro. Why not just be like, nothing more to share from our <laughs> friends? But if you didn't see it, here it is. Maybe they've already agreed to show it somewhere else, you know, or save it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so you, so Barrett right there is saying that if there is a PlayStation State of Play or Showcase in the next month, it'll be there. Thank you, Barrett. You're welcome. Yeah. I buy that. Um, no Kingdom Hearts. I feel like that's not, like, a big surprise, but it would have been really cool. And they've had Kingdom Hearts stuff at D23 before, including, like, the Pixar World reveals, which was a huge deal. Um, I imagine that next time we get one of these we might get like star wars world or marvel world in kingdom hearts 4 announced which is going to be hype as shit um no No spider-man wolverine makes sense but yeah no more roadmap for avengers really sad for greg (laughs) first off they've already they're they're communicating so well right now i don't need to worry about that (laughs) man you put all these roadmaps together you got the fucking whole continent of north america (laughs) with all these roadmaps they got (laughs) with the roadmaps for marvel's avengers you can circle the earth yeah (laughs) uh but yeah there we go that last was uh, thing, uh, the last thing i want to say just uh, i was disappointed with like we're just adding characters to lego star wars i would i would love for them to add actual substantial story stuff outside of just the i know it's called the skywalker saga but i i, I would love if like we got some dlc that wasn't just the skywalker saga you know we're about to get Andor. it would have been cool if like they're like all right and now you can play like rogue one or whatever in there but maybe they'll never do that i don't know um and some cool release date news i mean even marvel sun's coming sooner than yeah. expected like that's a fun announcement and marvel snap yeah that delay uh, october wasn't as 18th. bad as we thought yeah yeah so well there you go let us know in the comments below what you thought about this but until next time i love you all goodbye <laughs>